Good morning to all of you. Myself, Professor N. V. R. P. from S. N. D. College of Engineering and Research Center, Kerala. Now, in previous uh, video, we have already studied that the energy meter. The in that the construction and working of in, uh, induction type energy meter, single phase and three phase. After that, uh, we study the uh, errors which is present in a uh, energy uh, induction type of energy meter and how to reduce this error by using number of techniques and also uh, the numericals uh, based on the error finding in the energy meter. Now in uh, today's uh, lecture, we are discussing about the uh, two topic that is electronic energy meter and calibration of static energy meter that is electronic energy meter. First, uh, we will discuss the uh, topic that is electronic energy meter. The block diagram of energy meter is, which will be shown in that figure. The 230 volt supply is given to the load. This is your load. Load. This is uh, all the types of uh, uh, blocks are uh, present in that. When the load current is flowing to the circuit, then this will be read by the city and voltage scaling network. There are a number of blocks. Uh, first, uh, we are discussing uh, state this. Voltage scaling network, current scaling network, analog multiplier, voltage control oscillator, oscillator digital counter, timer integrator, and display. In that, the energy defined already known that the energy is the product of power and time. Power and time. That's why. We require the time integrator and our digital counter. Uh, the load is connected across the supply and the city is connected in series with the load. This city, city uh, which is used for the measurement of high current, for the measurement of high current and this will reduce the reduce the current to the secondary of the uh, city for measuring the for measurement of current. The, in that, uh, the voltage scaling network is connected across the load, which will measure the voltage across the load, voltage across the load, and city measures the current flowing to the current. This will be measured by using the block, the current scaling network. And the, the product of this, that is analog multiplier, this will product, means this will multiply the both the terms, that is voltage and current. Then the analog multiplier, the output of analog multiplier is VDC is directly proportional to VL and into IL. VL into IL means the load voltage into load current. After that, voltage controlled oscillator. This will be used for counting. Uh, this will uh, produce the square wave and uh, this will be measure the frequency. Measure the frequency and digital counter. Digital counter counts the number of pulses, number of paired pulses, and time integrator. Time integrator will be integrated with the digital counter, and digital counter counts the number of pulses and multiply this to the time integrator. Then the power into time this will be display on the display board. That is your energy. 
this is the block diagram of uh, electronic energy meter or digital electronic uh, digital energy meter now operation the single phase load voltage and load current are same and then down scaled using the voltage and current scaling network voltage and current scaling network this will be used for the major suppose 230 volt voltage is given and 5 ampere current is taken uh, given to the load or taken from the load 230 volt voltage supply is given to the load and this will be uh, take the 5 ampere current but this will be not use this current and voltage in that circuit because it is an electronic circuit that's why we reduce the voltage and current current in in a scale suppose 5 ampere current is reduced to the reduce up to 0 0.5 ampere and voltage will be also reduced to the up to 230 uh, divided by 4 or 5 this value will be given to the analog multiplier after that this will be given to the analog multiplier this is the voltage scaling network and current scaling network function the scale down voltage and current are applied to a power factor calculator and an analog multiplier this will be used for the measurement of power factor the analog multiplier produces the dc voltage proportional to the product of load current and load voltage load current and power factor load voltage load current and power factor means vdc directly proportional to vl il into cos then the voltage control oscillator is basically a frequency converter voltage to frequency converter the output of voltage control oscillator is a square wave the frequency of which is the dc input voltage proportional to the dc input voltage so the frequency of the voltage control oscillator is directly proportional to the vl il cos i that is instantaneous power the frequency signal at out at the output of vco is converted into a digital counter by means of a digital counter by using digital counter it will be count the number of pulses the counter output is a digital output which is applied to the display unit which is actually measures the frequency proportional to the power that is VL IL cos phi. If we measure the frequency that is VL IL cos phi over a unit time period, then the power gets converted into energy. And suppose uh, this power we have measured the sub period. Suppose up to uh, one hour or uh, half an hour. Half an hour. Then it will be the power which is uh, multiplied to the time. Then it will be converted into energy. The display unit can be programmed to display energy in kilowatt hour by suitably inputting the total time of measurement. These are done by using integrator block. That is time integrator block. Means the time integrator block which is used for the integration of power at time to each other and after that they will uh, display or uh, they will give, give the input to the display for showing the reading, for showing the reading. The energy consumed by the load is also indicated by a flashing LED on this meter such that the flashing rate is proportional to the rate of consumption of energy. In that, there is a one 
LED, that is red color LED, this will be always blinking. Always blinking. The rate of blinking is show that the rate of energy consumption by the load by the load. this is your uh, block diagram and working operation or operation of uh, block diagram of in electronic energy meter what is the advantage of this electronic energy meter is no frictional loss as there are no moving parts as the absence of new, uh, moving part there is no friction losses okay second one is high accuracy it will give the high accurate reading. Third one is high resolution. Third one is no external adjustment required. There is no requirement of any external uh, adjustment for reducing the error or uh, other types of uh, improvement. Next, the large frequency range due to absence of moving parts. Means as the moving part is absent, there is no friction losses, then we can measure or uh, we can uh, measure the high out, uh, output, high energy. Compatibility for computer connection, which enables direct reading of the meter by computer. It will be also directly connected to the computer. Then due to this, due to this, they were uh, the reading of the energy meter directly shown on your personal computer also. This is your electronic energy meter. Understand? Next, the calibration of energy. What is the calibration processor? Process, the calibration, calibration process is nothing but the Comparing the measuring instrument, comparing the any measuring instrument with standard instrument to find the error in the instrument under test. Suppose uh, one uh, energy meter taken, that is, uh, you have tested, and one standard energy meter, one standard energy meter you have taken, and after that, by, by performing the test, the error between these two meters, this is called as calibration. This is called as calibration. This is the connection diagram of energy uh, calibration. This is standard energy meter. This this is this gives the standard value or exact value and energy meter under test, which will be uh, show some uh, Variate, variation. Then this will be connected to the load. In calibration process, the energy meter is compared with standard energy meter having high accuracy. The current coil energy meter have current coil of standard meter and current coil of the meter under test are connected in series. Connected in series with the load. Whereas the pressure coils are connected parallel across the supply. Parallel across the supply. Next. First, adjust the desired load with power factor. The two meters are standard, are started simultaneously. And after a certain time duration, they are stopped simultaneously. Error in the meter can be calculated by comparing the readings on their respective registering mechanism. Means, if the difference, uh, if the standard energy meter shows the reading uh, X and under uh, test use the reading Y, then the difference between that it is called as error. In the second method, the number of revolutions of the disc of both the meters are counted for specific time duration. With the help of energy meter constant, energy recorded by both the meters can be calculated by using the formula ER is energy recorded is equal to number of revolutions upon 
energy meter part four. Then, if the both the meters have unequal constant, then error can be found as follows. Kr is energy meter constant for meter under test. Ka is energy meter constant of the standard meter. Nr is number of revolutions made by meter under test for time duration t. And Na is number of revolutions made by standard meter for same time duration t. Then the energy recorded by the meter under test is Er is equal to Nr upon Kr and energy recorded by standard meter is Ta is equal to Na upon Ka. Then percentage error is equal to recorded energy minus actual energy upon actual energy. That is Er minus Ea upon Ea into 100. Thus, the procedure is repeated for various load conditions and power factor conditions. And you, uh, after that, we can find the error. And this will, this is the your calibration process of the energy meter. Okay, so in that video, we studied the two points that is electronic energy meter and calibration of energy. Okay. So stop here. Thank you. Thank you very much.